Hi, this is Alexis. I'm a senior software engineer with Radix Technologies, and I'm going to walk you through some of the key features of the Radix Liberty GT 1211B Software Defined Synthetic Instruments Basic Operating Environment. The Liberty GT 1211B is packaged in a benchtop enclosure with a patent pending hinged front panel for field service at the module level. In addition, the 1211B includes an HD front panel display and an intuitive user interface. From the outside, the 1211B appears to be similar to a traditional boxed instrument. However, instead of performing a single measurement function, the 1211B uses the underlying power of FPGAs and multi-core processing to synthesize different real-time and near-real-time RF and microwave measurement apps that can run concurrently. For example, in our basic measurement science firmware and software bundle, we include a real-time spectrum analyzer and a two-channel digital storage oscilloscope, or DSO. Our advanced measurement science firmware and software bundle includes an RF signal generator and a comprehensive set of applications for radio test. After the user has logged into the 1211B, the home screen appears. This is the primary user interface of the basic operating environment. The home screen shows which Radix and third-party MSFS apps are installed, as well as which apps are running. Keep in mind that users can add apps to the system at any time, provided the underlying hardware is compatible with the app to be installed. As you can see here, the following apps are installed on this particular system. As part of the basic bundle, the real-time spectrum analyzer and the two-channel DSO. As part of the advanced bundle, we have installed the RF signal receiver for analog modulation analysis, RF signal generator, low frequency functions, which include the audio signal generator and audio analyzer, the bit error rate tester, a radio test app, which utilizes the Python-based API for the Radix apps to perform different signal tests, a radio test app for control of an external unit under test, or UUT, and finally, the Python-based local TPS framework for developing and managing test scripts. Liberty GT is a Windows-based open platform. Users can install apps from third parties or their own development teams. Here, we have two national instruments applications, the NIDMM Softfront Panel and the NI Scope Softfront Panel. Currently, no apps are running, but if I single tap on the digital storage oscilloscope, a green arrow appears to show that it is running, and the app launches on the primary Liberty GT display. If I tap the Home button in the upper left-hand corner of the app interface, then the home screen appears again, and the green arrow indicates that the DSO app is still running. If I press and hold the icon on the home screen, then the application will start, but appear on an attached auxiliary display. If I now single tap the icon, the app appears on my primary display again. If I tap the X in the upper right corner, then the app will close and the green run arrow disappears. If I press the menu button in the upper left hand corner of the home screen, I can restart the system, shut it down, or simply close the basic operating environment and home screen. I can also see system information, including serial and software version numbers. That's about it for the basic operating environment. For more information, visit us on the web at radixtech.com or send us an email at info at Thanks for watching.